What's up, y'all? Today I'm going to be eating myself some ghost pepper tenders. Got myself 15 chicken tenders right over here. Picked these up for about $20 and they're looking pretty good. I also have this right here. This is probably the star of the show, I got I to gotta admit. This is Melinda's brand, not sponsored, still unsolid since 2009. But as you can see, it is creamy style ghost pepper wing sauce. Never heard of this brand. Um, I didn't expect this. My mom sent it over, my parents sent it over uh, as a Christmas present under the tree. Opened up yesterday and I tried it out and it was absolutely fire. I mean, it was the perfect mix of the vinegar bite. It had some good spiciness and that ghost pepper flavor and also that buffalo flavor as well. Really good stuff. Here's a quick look at the back. You might be able to read that. I've never seen anything like this in Korea being sold at the, the market or the supermarket or anything. So um, I'm sure in America they have like a bunch of different varieties of stuff like this. But buffalo sauce is rare. I've done a whole rant video on that kind of. So um, really happy to have this and also happy to have this. This was also under the tree. This is also something that in Korea is non-existent on the shelves. Hidden Valley Ranch or just to be honest with you, ranch, like proper ranch, never seen it once. I've had my eye out for it, but uh, it's just not around. Um, you will see pizza places that have ranch. I've seen ranch a lot, but it's not even, it's not ranch. It's a, it's a pretty poor excuse for it most of the time. It's just not it. I don't, forgot what ranch tastes like, to be honest with you. So this should be nice. Usually I prefer blue cheese dressing uh, with buffalo wings, but this is going to be a nice treat, and you all know Hidden Valley Ranch, but one thing I was looking at, this has 130 calories in two tablespoons. This, on the other hand, supposedly has zero calories, so that just got me thinking, sauce is not created equal. You know, some people say, oh, sauce, it's like, that's why you're getting fat, but um, I mean, some sauce apparently is fat-free, or calorie-free at least. Anyway, let's get this mixed up here. I'm going to put all of 15 of these tenders in here. I have no idea how this is going to go. Yesterday I was just dipping it, but we're going to try to do a little toss. That should do it. I don't want to use all this. I do want to save it. Let's get a little mix with the glove. Pretty good coating on them. I'm not going to complain about that. I did not try this last night. This is probably like 500 calories just in this cup. All right, y'all going in. You already know it's mighty fine, man. You already know. Wow. Well, actually, you might not know. I've never heard of this brand, like I said. But let me try to describe it for you. It's spicy right off the bat. Got a good kick to it. I would say it's probably... So a lot of times you've got wings. You'll have like a standard... You know, mild, medium, hot, and then it goes on from there depending on where you go. I would give this probably like a hot or maybe a mild or uh, medium hot, but closer to hot, I would say, at least to me. You can definitely taste the kick. Maybe, a, okay, maybe it is just a medium hot. It depends on your spice tolerance. Now, when it comes to the flavor, it's checking all the boxes, um, even though it does have an essence that you don't usually expect when it comes to buffalo wings, in my opinion. I can be a traditionalist, give me franks, you know, and butter. This has that ghost pepper kick that you can really detect. It's really coming through. Which gives it that, not only flavor, but the kick, the spiciness. That being said, it does have the bones of this sauce are well rooted, in my opinion, in a traditional buffalo sauce. Um, very vinegary, but buttery. It's rich. It is creamy. 
I'll tell you what, man. I'll tell you what. This is mighty fine. Perfect pairing with this ranch. Seems like they're using habanero pepper mash, cayenne pepper mash, and also the Jalokia pepper mash, ghost pepper. This ranch is really hitting different too. Been going on about 10 years without having proper actual ranch. You can kind of see why it is so calorie intensive. But that's flavor, y'all. That's flavor. Got a little decent sweat going. I mess with these tenders, good white meat. And a good, just a good a bit of crunch on the outside, without breading. Or crisp, I should say. Look. Yesterday was Christmas. I kind of did a little Christmas dinner thing on um, Christmas Eve. Usually I'm a, I'm a Christmas day type of guy, but it just worked out. Where, uh, you know, did a, little, did a little cooking on Christmas Eve, and then for Christmas Day, you know what, I'm just got a pizza and some wings, because I had this. I opened this up. And so, just got some regular wings, and I was more into the wings than I was the pizza. And I really messed with this pizza spot, but uh, it was, I was, yeah. So I had, to, I had to run it back. Damn. Christmas was good, though. It was chill. Didn't do anything, really. I watched... Die Hard for the first time, never seen it. So I watched that. And the age old debate, is it a Christmas movie? I don't know. It, well, I should probably come up with a better answer. I didn't think about this before I started filming, but uh, I'll say, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? I think it definitely hit different. The fact that I was watching it on Christmas and not a different day. Like if I was watching that in the middle of summer, I wouldn't relate to it the same way. It was a pretty goofy movie, to be honest with you. Some of you might have seen my, my tattoo that says Live Free. It has nothing to do with Live Free, Die Hard, or that movie, or whatever. It was just a stupid thing I did when I was 20 years old. It is what it is. I think I got this other tattoo when I was like, what, 16, I think, or 17? Haven't got one since. My original plan was to do like a half sleeve on this arm, just go crazy with it, but. Anyway, Die Hard, I'll give it, I'll just say yeah. Let me just give it a yeah. Yes, it's a Christmas movie, why not? I also watched a movie called Tokyo Godfathers. An old Japanese anime movie. That was pretty solid. Oh, this is like the perfect amount of spice, so not too spicy, but not, not spicy enough. These are pretty hefty too. Ah, also I did something, I fin actually finished it on Christmas Eve, but I played the game Stray, finally. Loved it. If you don't know, it's the cat game where you play as a cat and you're like running through the cyberpunk city. I realized also I'm getting sauce in my face these days. I think it's probably because of these whiskers I have. So if I'm doing that again, then I feel like an idiot. But I, I always catch myself editing like, damn it, freaking fool. I should probably set up like a mirror. Anyway. A little bit hefty in the price category. I think originally it was 30 bucks. I got it for a discount at like 24 maybe. 
the uh, the price to time spent playing the game ratio is a bit high because you can beat the game in about like five hours or so but I'll tell you what yeah I, I thought it was I thought it was great specifically the environments love the environments it was very immersive in my opinion even though you were playing as a cat which is kind of interesting I hope you guys had a good holiday season as well. New Year's coming up. Probably won't do snap, schniz. I forgot. Who knows, I might go out. I don't know if I can really be bothered though, you know what I'm saying? We'll see, we'll check the scene. But um, that was mighty fine. Got a little tingle on the lips, got a little snot down the nose, sweat down the face, but not too much. It ain't, I'm not, I'm not drenched. It's not pouring down. So just the perfect amount in my opinion. Melinda's one more shout out. Melinda's kind of a cool bottle, I guess. Like I said, I'm sure there's so many different types of this kind of sauce these days, but this is the first one I had and I really enjoyed it. Actually, no, I did try, my buddy went to, shout out Real Deal, he went to uh, Buffalo once, this was years ago, and he, he sent me, or he gave me some Anchor Bar sauce, which is really good too. So I guess this is like the second kind of wing sauce bottled up that I've tried. Mighty fine stuff. I'm skating out of here. Thanks for watching. Peace.